Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. Today I'm washing some clothes. I've got some white shirts uh, that has some yellowing collars on them. And so I wanted to try a product out today. That product is the Clorox Bleach Pen. I uh, wanted to see how it works on the yellowing collars. So uh, I've got some results here and um, I'm a little surprised, I guess, on how it works. So uh, stay tuned and you'll see the results yourself. Here's a closer look at the Bleach Pen has two tips here, very small tip. And then you can unscrew that tip off. And when you unscrew it, you're actually screwing it in reverse. And then I just spilled some, as you can see. Um, this is the bigger tip. So I'm gonna put the small one back on for now. Uh, it says not to have both of the tips off at the same time. Let's put this on now. Let me show you the instructions here. So for laundry, which is uh, what we're going to be concentrating on today, this, this is for pre-treating pre uh, tough stain. So laundry, treat stain on white areas of garment, rub it into stain, wash immediately with all white or mostly white load. Do not treat garment while wearing. Uh, not recommended for use on colored portions of garments. Dry clean only fabrics and fine fabrics such as wool, silk, linen, mohair, leather, and spandex. If in doubt about color fastness, apply a small amount of product into hidden seam, rinse and let dry. If no color change, use as directed. And then if you could use it on um, grout there, you can see as well. So, I've got a uh, shirt that I have prepared with some stains in it, and I wanted to uh, to see if this stuff will take out some of those stains. Um, so let's move on to, uh, to the shirt that I have. Here's a look at the shirt with the stains and what we have here is uh, some ketchup stain. I've got a collar that's not really yellow. There is a little spot there. And that's slight, maybe some slight yellowing there. Uh, I've got some grass stain, dirt. Got um, barbecue sauce, mustard, Diet Coke. Or I'll take that back. Thousand Island dressing, barbecue sauce, uh, great jelly okay so uh, with the applicator here taking the fine tip off so I'm going to use the tip that we have here and just apply it to uh, we'll start up here with the uh, ketchup I've got gloves on so I'm just going to put some uh, of the Clorox on the stain here and just wipe it in. Now we're trying to work at about a five minute pace here because we want to put this in the washing machine or get it into water pretty soon. All right, we'll come back to that if we if we have to. Let's go ahead and go for the collar here. I was really amazed at how uh, how well this did on collars. I mean, you can see that already changing. Let's go with the uh, Thousand Island dressing here. And move on to the grass stain. 
go ahead and put some on all of these stains here. Okay, grass stain. What is this? This is this is dirt here. I think dirt's gonna be pretty stubborn. Mustard. Let's go to the uh, jelly for right now. Barbecue sauce, which is usually pretty hard to get out. All right, so I'm going to have to put this uh, in. I'm afraid that if we leave it out too long, we're going to get some yellowing from the bleach itself. And I will be doing a test on that as well while this is uh, washing. But uh, yeah, you can see the color, color doing very well. That uh, ketchup. Looking pretty good. These stains here are not doing as well, so we'll see what they look like after the wash. And I uh, need to make sure that uh, the bleach does not get on any of the print here, any of the colored print, so uh, that would bleach if we, if we got it on there. So I'm going to go with uh, warm water. Supposedly hot water will uh, stop the uh, bleaching uh, effect, so let's uh, Let's go with hot water. And once that uh, comes out, I'm going to dry it and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so while we're waiting for it to uh, wash and dry, I've got another shirt here. And you can see it's really got a lot of yellowing here. What I'm going to do on this shirt is I'm going to put it on here and... Uh, pretty sure that it's going to take that yellowing out but what I want to do is just leave it on here overnight and see what uh, what happens because you know it says to wash immediately and uh, my experience is that it will uh, be some yellowing if you leave it on too long not to mention it will also kind of uh, damage the fabric and make it uh, start making it break down so you know just curious if I do a load and maybe I leave it on for an hour or so just I'm just curious what will happen to the uh, the white so uh, that's kind of the experiment here So 
so you can see that it's it's almost instantly taking the yellow out of the collar there. I mean, I could go all the way up here and do the back collar as well. That's what I would that's what I would normally be doing on a shirt that uh, I'm going to be wearing, but uh with this is just kind of experimental. I'm going to get this little little uh, dot out here. Now I could use this small applicator. Let's go ahead and and do that matter of fact. So I will leave this on here overnight. We'll take a look at it the same time we look at the other shirt. All right, so I just took this out of the washing machine. I'm going to let it hang here and just air dry. Uh, I did not use any laundry detergent with this. And uh, usually you'd want to, you know, do uh, with a load of whites. Uh, you definitely don't want to mix your whites, I'm sure everybody knows that with uh, with dark colors, but uh, yeah, I did not use any de uh, laundry detergent on this, and I'm just going to say this, it's looking pretty optimistic, but we'll take a closer look at it uh, once this dries. So here's a look at the shirt that I treated with uh, the Clark's bleach pen um, on the collar here, and I just let this set. It's been about 20 hours now, and you can see it's it's whiter. I did not discolor the uh, shirt at all. A little spot over here. Barely see it right there. But uh, yeah, I thought maybe there may be some discoloration, some yellowing if you left it on too long, but apparently that's not the case, at least here. So uh, that's good to know. All right, let's take a look at the uh, the shirt that had the stains on it and I really haven't looked closely at this one I just grabbed it and brought it in here so uh, I'm gonna really try to examine it closely here so up here we had the uh, ketchup I do not see that at all no ketchup stain at all I don't see any stains. Actually, I do. I see a little bit of a. I see a little bit of a uh, dirt stain. No barbecue stain. I was thinking the mustard stain would still be there, but it's. I don't see that. Uh, the dirt stain is right here, right there. Barely see that. If I, you know, if I treated it again, it would probably take that out. Now, some of these may have came out, you know, in a just a typical wash. Um, I didn't use any laundry detergent; I just used water. But um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed, really, with uh, just the water wash cycle. Um, yeah, it's really hard to pick that up, but a little bit of dirt stain there. That's it, really. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's something that's, like, what, I think three or four bucks. It's worth picking up, I think, if you're at the store and you have uh, especially yellow collared shirts. It uh, would be worth a try, I would think. So, anyway, hope the video has been helpful. And uh, I saw something that... Uh, uh, you know, might have been somewhat informative. So, uh, till next time, have a great day out there and take care.